Hey there, welcome to our cooking channel. Today we're going to create a YouTube video using exactly this script. So let's dive right in and get started. All right, let's talk about the ingredients you'll need for this delicious recipe of paneer tikka masala. Gather up your paneer, yogurt, spices like turmeric, cumin, and garam masala, some fresh ginger and garlic, and don't forget the onions, tomatoes, and bell peppers. Oh, and a bit of oil and some fresh cilantro for garnish. Now let's move on to marinating the paneer. Make the background music hungry, inspiring, working, peace. Mix the yogurt with all those wonderful spices, ginger, and garlic. Then, coat the paneer cubes in this marinade and let it sit for at least 30 minutes. This will really let all those flavors soak in and make your paneer tikka masala absolutely mouthwatering. All right, let's dive into preparing the gravy. First, we need to heat some oil in a pan. Once the oil is hot, add finely chopped onions and saute them until they turn golden brown. This is crucial for that rich, deep flavor. Next, add ginger garlic paste and saute for another minute. Now it's time to add the pureed tomatoes. Cook this mixture until the oil starts to separate from the masala. This step ensures that the raw taste of the tomatoes is gone. Sprinkle in some salt, turmeric, red chili powder, and garam masala. Stir everything well and let it cook for a few more minutes. Finally, add some fresh cream to give the gravy a luscious, creamy texture. And there you have it, our gravy is ready. Now that our gravy is ready, let's move on to cooking the paneer tikka masala. First, we need to marinate the paneer. In a bowl, mix together yogurt, turmeric, red chili powder, garam masala, and a pinch of salt. Add the paneer cubes and coat them well with the marinade. Let them sit for at least 30 minutes to absorb all the flavors. Next, heat some oil in a pan and add the marinated paneer cubes. Cook them until they are golden and slightly charred on all sides. This gives the paneer that perfect tikka texture. Once done, add the paneer to the prepared gravy and let it simmer for a few minutes. This allows the paneer to soak up the flavors of the gravy. And there you have it, delicious paneer tikka masala ready to be served. Now, let's talk about serving suggestions. Paneer tikka masala pairs beautifully with a variety of Indian breads like naan, roti, or paratha. You can also serve it with steamed basmati rice or jeera rice for a complete meal. Garnish with fresh coriander leaves and a squeeze of lemon for that extra zing. And don't forget to have some sliced onions and cucumber on the side for that refreshing crunch. Enjoy your meal.